I don't want to cry on this. <laughs> but I want to thank God. Like, like I said, y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know what I've been through. But I can tell you that this moment that I'm about to share with you guys. This is priceless. Yeah. Swipe What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Hebrew Beauty, and I am coming to you with my first video. Get into it. Yes. We're going to do a get to know me. Um, I'm going to introduce you to my business that I just started. Um, the name, we're going to actually do something at the end that I'm very excited to do because I've been doing this for a long time. Remind me not to make this face ever again. Right. You guys watched a thousand videos and you're like, hmm, let me see if I can get into, into me, sis, because it's about to be lit. I am about to come with, to you with story time, testimony, head wrap tutorials, because I know y'all saw the intro and that head wrap was cute. I'm about to come to you with business ventures. I'm about to come to you with real... So let's get it started. Let's get it started. Let's get, I got my little plant baby here. I got my baby, Party. call him Party, cause he's helping me with my podcast that I just started. And yeah, he's in the kitchen. He's live with me today. Um, so let's get into this get to know me. My name is Diamond, but my real name is Hebrew Beauty. I am 26 years young. Y'all see? Y'all see it? Oh, yes. 26 years young. I have three beautiful babies. Two boys, one girl. I know I don't look like it. Look, I'm going to keep doing this. Because, look. Let me stop. Yeah, I'm 26 years young. Um, I have no pets. I had a pet named Sky, And I think my mom did something to her. Because I came home one day and she was gone. Let's get into the get to know me questions because these is more exciting than me. Yeah, that's more exciting. What is your middle name? My middle name is Umia. U M I A. Um, that's actually an interesting question because I never really looked my middle name up. I just thought it was cute. Umia, like U M I A. They used to call me Umia. Oh, y'all, they used to call me Umia. And now y'all see me. I'm out here, anyways. <laughs> Yes. What is your favorite subject in high school? I love English. Um, I've always been a writer. I love um, poetry. I am a poet. Um, well, I had to get buck. But yeah, I, I'm a poet. Um, Dr. Daniels, he was my 10th grade English teacher. I will never forget him. Um, because he gave us hope. You know, English teachers, they are, um, they're outspoken. Um, they're outgoing. They tell you what's really going on in this world. Even, even though we were in high school, we knew that life wasn't fair. We knew that we had to work hard to get what we want. You know, those English teachers, they really, you know, live through us. So everything that they wish they would have done, when they were younger, they they teach us that. But let's move on to the next subject because I can go on and on about English all day. All right. What is your favorite drink? I'm going to say lemonade because everywhere I go, I just get lemonade. I feel like that's just safe. I mean, you can mess up lemonade, but you really can't. Um, When it comes to... um. An alcoholic beverage, I will go with 
a mojito. Like, I don't drink a lot, <laughs> but what I do, it's usually at Fridays, and I always drink mojitos. Yeah, I don't know. What's your favorite song at the moment? It's this song called Purge by Hezekiah. He's on here. I'm going to tag him below. And I want y'all to listen to that song. Um, I have it on repeat every day, all day. All day. All day. And when y'all listen to it, y'all gonna know why. Like, and if y'all haven't, y'all don't know me yet. Y'all don't know me. Y'all are getting to know me, okay? But when y'all are on like the fourth, fifth video, y'all gonna know why I like that, that song, okay? So let's keep it moving. Cause you in my business. Don't do that. Have you participated in any sports? When I was little, I wanted to join the shooting team and I did my best. I don't know, I must have been like seven years old and they told me come to the trials. I, it was in the road elementary school. And I did a split. They call it an apple jump. I did the apple. I did uh I did all the stuff that they asked me to do and they didn't even choose me. They didn't choose me, sis. So no, I haven't participated in any sports. I mean I tried to redeem myself in sixth grade to and join the step team. <sighs> but it, it wasn't it, it wasn't giving cheer for me it wasn't giving cheer so yeah I just yeah no I haven't participated in any sports for real I actually do kickboxing now now that I'm thinking about it I do kickboxing I kick ass honey okay what is your favorite book Okay, because right, right, right. I was about to say, y'all know my favorite book, but y'all don't know me yet. Y'all don't know me. That's why you gotta get to know me. Get to know me. Sis, to all my friends, the real friends that subscribed. <coughs> that subscribed. I'm gonna give you two seconds because I know I told you to subscribe in the beginning. But all the friends that subscribe, y'all. Yeah. My favorite book is the Bible. Like, it's only logical. I am an IT professional, so I deal with things that make sense. And the Bible is literally an instruction manual to life. It can't get no, it can't get better than that. Anything in life, like. He, your favorite book, you know, the book that you like, your favorite book, the Lord created that person who made that book. So I'm getting in the mind of your favorite artist, creator. That might have went over your head, but I'm going to bring it back. My favorite book is written by the creator who created your favorite books author y'all not getting it I ain't gonna get it I ain't gonna get it I ain't gonna, y'all gonna get it y'all gonna understand y'all gonna understand in a little while y'all gonna understand what is your favorite holiday hmm my favorite holiday is Feast of Eleven Bread. Y'all, like y'all, like I said, y'all don't know me. I don't, I don't do holidays. I do holy days, but y'all gonna get to know me soon. Um, on a scale of one through ten, rate your childhood. 
I really, I don't remember a lot about my childhood. I just remember having a lot of brothers and sisters and taking care of them. And by the time I was 15, I was grown. Uh-uh, sis, explain. I was a teen mom. I was pregnant in fi at 15, so imagine my childhood. But if I can give it a number, I would give it a seven or eight because my mom always made sure I had, you know, roof over my head, clothes on my back. Um, I had siblings, so I had someone to talk to. I rated it a seven. I just wish that I would have slowed down. Slow down. Um, yeah, I wish I would have slowed down. But we'll get more into that as you get to know me. All right. Um, have you been out of the country? Yes, man. 2018, I went to Jamaica. There's the first time I went out of the country. It was so beautiful. I will share some pictures. All right. Um, let me see. I'm going to skip some of these questions. So I'm going to get to the real juicy questions. How tall are you? Mind your business. Don't do that. You want, you want my business? Don't do that. But I'm 5'2". Um, yeah. What is your favorite movie? Y'all, like I said, I am a queen. I am beautiful. I am different. I am set apart. So I'm not about to have a, like a mainstream favorite movie. But if y'all can do some homework, it's this movie called Rain Over Me. If you want to really get to know me, watch that movie and you'll see why that's my favorite movie. Y'all, y'all been watching for, you know, a while now. I want to share this moment with you all. This moment right here is going to change my life forever. And I just want to thank God. I don't want to cry on this. <laughs> But I want to thank God, like, like I said, y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know what I've been through. But I can tell you that this moment that I'm about to share with you guys, this is priceless. So a little background. I always wanted to reach out. I always wanted to be a youth outreach specialist. That was my thing. Um, but being on Instagram, seeing everyone, you know, sell this and sell that. Everybody was selling lashes. They were selling uh, clothes, jewelry, lipstick, just all this stuff. And I, 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 I felt bad. I was like, everybody got a business except me. Everybody got some business. But I didn't want to just sell anything. I wanted to do something that had a meaning to it that that someone can look at every single day and praise the Lord behind that thing like thank you Lord for this thing I don't want I didn't want to just be like everybody like I said y'all don't know me but y'all will get to know me pretty soon and I do want to share this moment it is going to be a lot of emotion but I have um, something to show you guys, something that I am working on. This is in light. This is an oil lamp, guys. And I just got it. I will um, 
light it for the first time to like ever in my life. I never, I never did this before, and I wanted to show, share, you know, the Lord with you guys. Um, if you guys can turn to Matthew twenty five in your Bibles, or if you don't have a Bible, I'll read it for you. But it talks about keeping oil in your lamp. And when the Lord put it on my heart to start offering oil lamps or selling oil lamps, I could I couldn't believe it. Like I could not believe it. Like this is something that I really can do because it gives glory to the Lord. And it, it just, I just, yeah. I'm turning to Matthew 25. And it's called the parable of the 10 versions. I'm a great reader, if y'all didn't know. Ooh, let's go. I'm going to turn to the King James Version. And I thank you guys for being here with me this long. I know it's a long video, but this is my first video. And I could talk all day. If you made it this far, comment below with the word light. Comment light below. That would let me know that you guys made it this far. And that means that you guys know me. And you are willing to get to know me. Yeah. All right. The parable of the ten versions. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. So, y'all, yeah, the ten virgins took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish. And five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps, but not did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars. Praise God! Praise God! Mm. So that is not the King James Version. I'm going to start over, but praise God. Praise God. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps, but took no oil with them. But the wise took oil with their lamps. They took the oil with their lamps. They took the oil. Because it's no it's no point of having the lamp without the oil. It don't work. Y'all don't know about oil lamps. Y'all probably, you know, too young. Because I'm too young. I never did this before. But back in the day, like your mom and your mom's mom, they had oil lamps. While the bridegroom tarried. They all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. So everybody like, hey, the Lord is coming. Let's go meet the Lord. So the ten virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Y'all, when they say they trimmed their lamps, there's a wick in here. So back in the day, they probably didn't have this button. They probably had a pill it, but you gotta cut it down each time, I think, or it burned down. Like I said, this is my first time you know, about to do this, but I think that's what it means. Um, and the foolish said unto the wise, give us your oil for our lamps are going out. But the wise answer saying, not so, unless there be not enough for us and you. Go, you rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. The wise ones said, 
I'm not giving you none of my oil. You should have went, you should have had oil in your lamp, basically. Cause I got it, I got something to do. I have somewhere to go. Hey, the Lord is coming. Let's go meet the Lord. And if I leave and give you some of my oil, all of us gonna be like without oil. So go to those who, you know, sell oil and get your own. Cause this moment right here. I gotta go meet my husband. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage. And the door was shut. So while they went to go buy their oil, the wise women, they went in, they met the Lord. And it said the door was shut. Afterwards, also the other version saying, Lord, Lord, open them to us. So the door was shut. But the other versions, they finally got their oil. They came. They got their oil all willy-nilly. Thinking, you know, it was sweet. And y'all know it's never sweet. We don't know the time or the hour. The day or the minute. We don't. We know the signs. But we don't know the time. It says, but he answered and said, verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. That was Matthew 25, 1 through 13. This right here is a representation of your body, of your spirit. Keep this thing full. Keep oil in your lamp. So when the Lord come, he will know you. You will be able to go meet him because your lamp is full. So, like I said, it's my first time, you know, lighting a lamp. It turns out that I had to soak the oil for an hour, and I did that. It's been an hour. Um, Please don't try this at home. I, I'm also supposed to have a lighter, like a long little lighter thing. So... Um, I don't have that, but I know how to make it work. It's something I did as a child. I always made it work. Like, <laughs> it's no telling me no. I'm going to make it work. So, that's what we have. Um, we have our lighter. Um, what I want to do is pray before I do this. Because this is, again, a big moment for me. And I just want to. I'm just, I want to share it with the Lord. Like, I want to just give him praise and um, give everything back to him. I wouldn't, it's not me. I'm nothing without the Lord. So, again, yeah, let's go. Lord, um, I come to you as humble as I can. I want to say thank you. Thank you for keeping me through the trials, tribulations. You named me Diamond for a reason. And at this moment, I want to shine to give the glory back to you, Lord. I ask that you watch the people that, that you keep the people that are watching. That you allow them to shine your, their light before men. I ask that you bless this lamp, bless this fire, light it, and give us the spiritual growth that we've been longing for. Let this physical lamp represent the light that we choose to shine because of you. In Jesus' name, amen.
want to push this down. Yeah, I'm so excited. I can turn it up or I can turn it down. I'm going to keep it down right now. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful, y'all. Like, I'm surprised I didn't cry. Because, y'all, y'all see these dimples come out? It's a wrap. Like, the Lord has really... I don't, look, I don't even need anything else. So this is beautiful. I'm satisfied. I love the Lord. Like, I love him so much. And I just wanted to say, you know, thank you for... being here in this moment with me like I said this is a get to know me and if you have made it this far you know me sis you know me you know all of me like we friends we friends we friends like I shared a big moment um with you guys i share you know my love for the lord i have you know shared a little personal things um that allowed you to get to know me and i just want to um say thank you again i, I know i can't you know keep saying thank you but i can because i can do what i want to do because i'm grown Like I said, I'm 26. I'm grown. Anyways, yeah. Um, thank you so much. I want to just give a shout out to Potty right here. He's he's making my video look really cool. Um, and like, this thing will touch millions of people. I just want to shout out to Enlight. That's my business name. I don't have the website up and running. And I am still um, in the making of, you know, personalizing and selling these oil lamps. So I will have the link down below soon. Um, but I do want to share this um, YouTube video with you guys tonight. Check back, you know, on me in three weeks or so. The website will be down below. And if not, just go ahead and follow one of my um, social pages. See why I love you guys. The Lord loves you. And good night. Yeah. Swivel. Swivel. Swivel.